John here guys and today we are doing an overview of the Isheen Lao 5 and in a lot of the um, documentation signage um, or such as like on this box this box is actually pretty nice but it looks like an S it looks like it's Lao's makes me think that it's like do it for the Lao's yeah and uh this is Isheen stepping it up. Um, this is Isheen trying to step into the premium market. Uh, for a lot of you may remember, uh, in the 90s, Hyundai was considered uh, an inferior product of less reliability. But over the years, and especially going into the um, 2010s when they introduced the Genesis line, um, that was them trying to abandon that perception of lower quality and really step it up to a premium brand. And this seems to be Isheen's attempt at that. There are so many extras. Two, yes, two Kevlar straps. A couple of sets of these props. They look like Cyclones. I don't know what they are. Um, some extra little hardware. And this very curious carbon fiber AK-47. I really have no idea what that could be for. I think I'm just going to go ahead and give this little AK-47 that this comes with to Deadpool. Uh, put it on display somewhere. Very strange little accessory. I'm not really sure what it's for. Maybe you could open a bottle with it. Although I don't think you'd want to be drinking any crushed up carbon fiber. So this bond and fly quad or it's actually plug and play. The one I got is special for a couple of different ways. Uh, number one, there is a very interesting motor selection here. This is the Lao 5 2507 motor. That is a gigantic motor. Let's talk about that motor size for a second just here. Does anyone else notice that the color scheme for this, the purple and gold, is a lot like Bardwell's setup? He has gold motors. There's purple accents. Now, they put the purple accents not on the motor belt, but on these little 3D printed thingies. Uh, coincidence? His motors are also 2507. Very curious. Are they trying to bite him? Or are these guys just serious LSU fans? Um, LSU was really awesome. Remember back when Shaq used to play there and he would just destroy everyone uh, in college? Uh, is this quad meant to destroy the competition? Can it really um, compete with the with the likes of iFlight and Emacs? iFlight has really been a new player on the scene that has come into its own. Um, already being known for premium designs, but this thing has the Tarsier camera on board. That's right. Let's take off this little ND filter that it comes with. You can see that is a dual camera setup, allowing you to get crispy 4K footage um, while you have a low latency feed into your goggles with the other camera. Let's move this top plate out of the way and go over the components. It has their ESC on board. I don't know if it's any good or not. Um, it has their new flight controller on board. This is, I think, pretty much the same one that I reviewed that's like the Racer Star with the SpeedyB Bluetooth adapter built in. That's right. You can connect this straight to the SpeedyB app as soon as you have it plugged in and change any settings out in the field or at home. You don't need a computer, that's really handy. And it has this video transmitter. It's very similar to the old half board Matek. If you ever use one of those Matek VTXs back in the day, pretty much the same with the MMCX connector going out the back. It's going back to an Axi style antenna that is on a 3D printed mount that holds it away um, so to that holds it away so that you can have some nice clean footage in your feed. There are some other variety of 3D printed accessories. Look at these little motor protectors slash landing pad things. Really cool. It makes it look like some sort of a creature when you're flying through the air. Look at the frame design. Speaking of the frame design, it is a sandwich arm system. Um, 
with replaceable arms that slide out with removing two screws. I do like that, and I also like that it looks like... Uh, no, you do actually have to remove your stack screw. Actually, I think you may just have to loosen it in order to get it out. Not bad. Has a nice, good capacitor installed to keep everything crisp and avoids voltage spikes. But this is an overview, guys. Um, why is it an overview? Well, I'm getting some heinous static in my video feed i can't really determine what the source of that is i've tried a couple of trouble studying steps i've installed a different vtx on board it doesn't seem to be that as far as i can tell it's isolated to this cadex tarsier board i've tried applying power to it from a couple of different sources with no avail so i can't get this up in the air just yet i'm gonna have to do some more troubleshooting but i wanted to get this in front of you um this seems to be just reviewers curse, but the only other video out there that I saw on this, I asked the guy if he had any issues with static in the video. He did say he had some, but it must not have been enough to prevent him to, from flying. I'll put a little um, image of what it looks like on the screen. It's like some rectangles flashing around. It makes it quite unflyable. It's almost like the OSD is tripping out. I can't really figure out what that is yet. Um, but, this thing is certainly premium. Look at all of the little touches they're doing. See how they put um, heat shrink around the little wires right there just to make it look a little bit cleaner. Whoa, this is impressive. So did I just end up with reviewer's curse with something that I couldn't go out and fly right away? Um, I did want to mention that all of the accessories on here, um, whether it is the VTX, the camera and the receiver, have plugs on the flight controller so it's quite easy to get your receiver wired up it comes with a little wire harness so you just solder your three wires onto your receiver and it plugs into this little plug right here quite handy i love it diatone has been doing that for a while now and it just makes when you get a plug and play and you have to install your receiver that much easier you only have to solder the three wires and not six um, now, one thing about the motors, I did kind of fly this line of sight a little bit. It felt pretty powerful, but these motors have nuts that are reverse threaded. I believe it's this way. They are reverse. And that means that instead of turning right to tighten them, you have to turn left to tighten them. That's something that we haven't had in this hobby for years. Years! This is ridiculous. Ever since we started using nylon uh, lock nuts that's really just not necessary it's a, an extreme annoyance because if you lose one of those nuts you are going to pretty much be screwed because nobody keeps reverse thread nuts anymore um this is just some this is some fucked up repugnant shit uh -huh. it's absolutely terrible Ishin. i don't know you don't know what you were thinking here so stay tuned i'm going to keep troubleshooting if the camera has to be replaced it might have to be replaced uh, and we will show you a review on how it flies and do some comparisons against the iflight nazgul in an upcoming video very soon thanks guys